Hello and welcome to the Bell Hops Tabletop. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bell Hop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question I guess we're answering is how well will we do in scenario three of Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion? Uh, like to welcome you first of all to my tabletop. This is the Bell Hops Tabletop. We are in my game room, about to sit down and play scenario three of the cooperative board game Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. A much dumbed down is the wrong word, a simplified introduction to the Gloomhaven series of board games that has a much better onboarding system where it slowly introduces you rules as you play through. At this point, we are moving on to scenario three. Uh, which is going to introduce some new bad guys. We finally have eight card decks, and we finally got to go shopping for the first time at the last scenario. So, a few new things. So, again, I am Mo Tuzan, the Tabletop Bellhop. This is my wife, Deanna. I am currently playing the human Void Warden. And I am playing the Volra Redguard. Redguard, yes. And we are all level one. Uh, we don't haven't even seen rules. We haven't even gained XP yet at this point. So. Sure. It's uh, slightly different than Gloomhaven. So we do have our map out here. We have just unlocked Scenario 3, which is down here in the water here. Obviously, there's going to be some spoilers here. This is a legacy game. So we are heading off to this spot here. So first thing we had to do is we have to do a couple other things. I am going to be moving the camera so you can see this better. But we are doing um, going through the book and doing it as it suggests we do things, right? So following the instructions in the, the, the guide, which I unfortunately buried... It's really, it's a step-by-step. -step yeah, it's, it's very much a step-by-step -step how to play. So we had just finished off Scenario 2, and you can catch our other actual plays on YouTube. Uh, where we just finished it off. Sorry, I should have had this open. So one of the things we had to do is we got to add, since our last scenario, so anyone who, had, who has been watching around since the beginning, the first one cards to our deck. So our decks are now eight cards long, eight cards big, eight cards thickness, whatever. Our decks have eight cards in them. Um, I have added two number one cards, which are I've lost in here. So I have added Close to the Abyss and Sign of the Void to my deck. And I've added Swift Strength, which lets me jump. That's an interesting card pairing. And what did I do with the other one? And Healing Sands. So the other thing we got to do, and something we're going to get to do at the end of every scenario now, is go shopping. So I have purchased myself a set of studded leather, and I have bought a stamina potion. Yeah, I got a stamina potion and a heater shield. So now we move on to scenario three. So let's begin by always turning to scenario three in the scenario book and setting it up. So we are going to do that now, and we will be moving the camera so you can see this a little closer. I just realized I hadn't put my hit points back up to full, so I'm going to tell you, you should do that. I already have. Here we are. We have our entry points over here. Um, we are going to go through the setup. So one of the things that's different here is we do need the book. So in addition to the main scenario book, there is a secondary book, and this is going to cause a huge mess. So the only thing we have is... For the black ship, the confu the conclusion is in this book. So oh, I'm not even going to touch it this. It wouldn't fit here. Yeah, okay. so it wouldn't fit, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what this booklet's for. For some later scenarios, it'll be parts of maps. Mm -hmm. So we do need this for the conclusion later, so I'm just going to throw that up top here. Um, other than that, is there any new setup? So instead of Vermlings, we will be dealing with new enemies. So the list of enemies is over there. So if you can gather together some of these new enemies... Have our Zulets and their basic deck. And I'm not sure what the giant pipe percentage of these them over there somewhere. I said I was going to make last time I grabbed that book. Mm -hmm. Fulfilled the prophecy. Okay, you know the. So if we put these on the edge, I think there should be room so that people can see. If you put one of them at the end of that book, like here? Yes. Like, like I tried to, I zoomed out a little more than last time, so hopefully people can see, like here's the monster attack deck, that can probably go up top, but the cards, which I don't know. Hmm. So does no, this no, show? here. Okay. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> Doesn't show great. Alright, I was hoping. 
And then the vipers on this side is what I was trying to say. There you go. One on. So the vipers are here. And the giant viper. Have you shuffled these? No. I hate shuffling when they have four cards in the deck. All right, so we have that deck there. Um, there are ten standees for the giant viper, so it knows you need to put this in a card that has ten spots on it. There you go, a little brighter there. So yes, a card that has 10 spots on it. We have the basic Zealot and the basic Giant Viper things. Um, there are no Giant Vipers in the first room, so you'll note there's a one here. So now we're into sections. So once we get to the one, we read the one. Got it. So we do have two of the Zealots out here that are basic. If we had even one more character, we would have more. Uh, so we do have greens, which, again, greens are um, obstacles, so we can't move through those. We now have purple. Purple is difficult terrain. So you have to spend two movement points whenever you enter a hex. This is also taken into account when you are trying to determine focus. Flying shoes. And while there's the section breaks, uh, we now have experience. Some actions are going to have experience values associated with them with a star. They are gained every time you do it. If it's just sitting on its own with an action, you must still perform some part of the accompanying abilities to gain the experience. Basic actions also negger, never trigger experience. If it's listed through specific conditions written out in text, the text must be satisfied. We may now also have active bonuses, so cards that stay in play. I do have one of those here at the bottom. I have an active bonus card now, a card that stays in play. So that is something new. Is that the XP? Yep, that's XP. Um, cards with active bonus are moved to your lost or discard after they have run out. So I'm going to need my tokens out of my box because I now have something to track with them. This means it stays till the end of the round? Yes. They are active from the time the action is played until the end of the round, at which point the card is placed in either your lost or discard pile, depending on what it shows. We may also have shield abilities, which prevent damage. Um, no times two is applied before the shield, if that comes up. And now some abilities have jump. Movement is accompanied by jump. Each hex is unaffected by all terrain and enemy figures. Jump can move you through obstacles and enemy figures, does not spring traps, no penalty for entering difficult terrain. Figures cannot jump through walls, and any movement with jump must still end in a viable hex. If movement with jump ends in a trap, the tra trap is still sprung. We have new conditions, which are poisons, which is figures get plus one attack on your attacks and only removed when you heal, but the poison prevents the heal from actually healing you. There's wounding, where you take damage every turn. Cursing, which will put curse cards in our decks. And blesses, which will put bless cards in our decks. And we can now long rest. So at the end of your turn, and select, instead of selecting, sorry, at the start of your turn, instead of selecting two new cards to play, you can declare a long rest. It gives you initiative 99. You then choose one of your discarded cards to discard to the lost pile. You then heal two. And any of your spent items, the ones that are tapped, get tapped back. And some monsters have active bonuses. And with that, we now know everything you know to play Scenario 3. Read the introduction, special rules, and stop at the section break. Collect your cards for the first round and return here when you've completed the scenario. I don't even know where my health dial went. So I don't know where we're going to put these now. Maybe up here? Slide those little candies over. You might have to reach some of those. And I'll grab a new one because I don't know where I keep doing with these. Health, it's disposable. I do not have much, I will say. But now we need to start tracking experience. So now I need to set up my play area a little better. What do you gain experience for doing? I have no idea. Nothing. I didn't get an experience card on my ones. No, I got one, but it's only when I heal myself. It's very specific. <laughs> I'm like, nope, I don't get XP ever. All right, so now our items go on the bottom. Yeah, I'm running out of room here because mm -hmm. of the laptop. 
my combat deck. I don't know. Once I have an active card, it's not going to work either. So we're going to try to move this up a oh, bit. Oh, yeah, that's true, because you're going to get active cards now. Yes. I don't, I don't have any of those. I have active cards. You do not. Well, no, I have ones that stay till the end of the round, so I guess they would be active cards. Never mind. Alrighty, so... What are we doing? Jeez, I don't Just know. killing these yeah, guys go through the door. These raving... How tough are they? Move six, or what? Health six, move two, attack two. Yep. But they don't cause wounding because they're not elite. They're All right, not so at least we don't have to worry elite. about the elite. All right, and we don't know what they do yet because we didn't peek and look ahead. Nope. <sighs> well, I could start cursing the deck. Oh, there, I get XP for cursing. It just takes a while. As long as we keep getting guys on the board, should I start cursing up their deck? That doesn't seem like a bad thing. I'm thinking that I would like to start... Yeah, that's good. Yeah, move me up closer. You're probably going to charge in, I assume. I am. I have an interesting new card that I would like to try. What's their attack, too? Your basic attacks are like three and four, though, aren't they? I'm going to do an attack, too. But targeting both enemies, so that's what I've decided. You're not supposed to tell me it's an attack, too. Well, I'm cheating again. You just, yeah, sorry. You were saying numbers, so I responded with numbers. I do have some that are bigger than twos. That's what I was trying to ask. Is... I don't think I have an attack four. I do have threes. I don't have any fours. Okay. Oh, yeah. Super quick. Alright, I am gonna go at 15. Oh, wait a second. You need a little do you think put out here somewhere? Where is a good spot? Would fear show up? I don't know. Sort of. Not really. Okay. You can put them over on... Did we, even, we didn't even read the introduction here. No, probably should do that. Can you read that? Because I can't see this part very well. I know. After getting your fill of stew and plenty of rest at the sleeping lion, you start off early in the morning. The first order of business is looking for information on someone named Roland. He seems to be making a trade out of buying fresh corpses, and you'd like to know why. It's slow going at first, but you eventually find a pair of vermlings down in the sinking market who seem overly interested in cadaver disposal. Mm. After some rough persuasion, they cough up that they... I'm having a really hard time re reading this bottom line because it's on... They too are being paid by a man named... Roland to deliver bodies. They even give you the drop-off location, some derelict ship at the old docks. You head down to the pier and look around. It doesn't take long to spot the suspicious vessel. Not only is it leaking some kind of vile black liquid from the hull, <laughs> but there are two men wearing red robes staring guard, standing guard outside on the dock. They notice you eyeing them and begin making threatening gestures for you to move along. Looks like getting to the bottom of this is going to require cracking a few more skulls. Special rules. Make sure characters add the first two ability cards marked one to their decks. Yeah, we did that. That's it. Don't read That's the it. one. Okay, we didn't even put all the stuff out on the map. You got a treasure chest still. You got... I thought you were doing this. Nope. Okay. Treasure chest on here. the gold side. You got a coin, coin there. over here. Yep. This is it just two coins? It tells you here. I can't see that. Two coins. Two treasure tiles. Yeah. Two it's traps. Two traps. It does not say what the Here's are. the other trap. So how do you know? Oh, they're threes. So you yeah. just know that from last time. Okay, so where's the other treasure token? What other treasure token? No, it's a one. Sorry. I'm blind. Wow. And I'm like, because it says two treasure. No, it doesn't. Don't listen to me. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, we we're going to put these in order. So... So I'm going at 15. You are going at There 15. is no vipers, so and give me the viper thing. And we're trying to decide thing. where the heck to put these on, so... No vipers. Not, not the viper card. 
That's me. Like, why are you giving? I was trying to decide where to put these, and oh, I thought you had said over there right, would sure. be a good spot, so that's why I was handing them to you. You're going first. I'm at 38. Then you need to flip a Z-Lot, because I don't know what they're at. And they are at 19. And show everyone what they're doing. So they are moving and attacking at minus one, but cursing us. With a hex whip. Hex whip. So if you don't get in hand-to-hand, -hand, you won't get cursed. Sounds delightful. So they are at 19. Oof. Which so would between us. Be before my 38. Okay. Unfortunately. So we have our little initiative trackers here. So we are going to start off with, I got a couple choices. We're going to start with Signs of the Void, which is my newest card, which is at the start of each of your next five turns, curse within range two. So my main thing is I got to make sure I stay within range two at the start of every turn, or else it's a waste. Hmm. Okay. And I need to put one of these little tokens on here to start tracking that. And then second, I'm going to use Suggestion, which forces one enemy within range 3 to perform an attack 3 against another enemy of your choice adjacent to them. Nice. Use their attack modifier deck for this attack. So it doesn't really matter. I am going to have number 5 attack number 6. Oh, nice. 4, 3, I think it is, right? They are, uh, you have to track this stuff. Yeah. No, I know, but so it's based on their yes. basic attack, so they had a 2. So we're going to hit No, it's an attack 3. Oh, attack three. So Sorry. they do four. They do four. Okay. Yeah, see, that's just in the camera. It works pretty well. I'm trying to find the teeny ones. There we go. So four on number six. Six. Who has six health. So, so if you do at least around. two, it should finish them off. Yep. Okay. Except they're, they're going next. I know. I was hoping that gets discarded. So then number five goes first. And he gets to move. Either move is what? Two. two. So he can't actually reach. One. Yes, he can. Because he's going to focus on you. Mm -hmm. On me. Oh, mm -hmm. I shouldn't have been so close. He and he attacks me. And he will attack for minus one and curse. So he attacks me for two. So I take two damage. And you are cursed. And cursed. Two damage really sucks, actually. All right. So now we need curse cards, which we have in here. And when I get a curse card, it gets shuffled into the rest of my deck, which I might not even draw from my deck. I haven't yet. It's mm, true. Now, hopefully I don't die when the other guy comes up and attacks me for none. Yeah. Minus two, and his attack is two. So. But I get cursed again. Maybe never drawing from your deck is a great idea. Yeah. All right. Now they're done. Yeah. And you can't even hit both of them. Can I know. You? you planned badly. Yeah. Well, I didn't know they were going to go faster than me. Also, I was going to do something that would... Hmm. Yeah. It's lame. So I was going to use my new Healing Sands card. And all attacks targeting you gain disadvantage. But it's this round. And they've already attacked yeah, this so round. So it's useless. Yep. So... I will just uh, attack and tar uh, target all adjacent enemies, which in this case is only one. Well, what's your other one? Can it give you XP? I could heal myself, but it's I'm, only not, self, eh? I'm not wounded. Yeah, if it wasn't self, I could use four health. I know. So, one damage. Wow, we're not doing good so far. One damage on number six. You're the one? Yeah, I know. Just let me set my stuff down. That was not a good round. No. At all. More We're terrible at Team Haven. Yeah, we should quit now. Alrighty. And no one had a recycle card? No. No, I saw you shuffle a couple into your deck. You should be able to make sure they hit me. Oh, shoot, I got on that. I forgot we bought stuff. Right. That was dumb. What does your armor do? Well, I should have given him disadvantage and shield one. Like, it was just silly that I totally forgot. It's alright. New characters. Learning new characters is always interesting in Gloomhaven. Okay, man, I don't know. It's. I, I so wish we had the two cameras. Yep. 
Because I'm like, nothing is happening it's on the stream. It's not exciting when it's I'm looking at my cards. Though I don't know how much seeing me frown at my cards would excite people. No, but at least you see us picking up and putting things down and whatever. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, there's action. I don't know. This will at least be interesting. Of course, I thought last term was going to be interesting, so we'll see. All right, I'm at 68. I'm at 16. And they are at? And they are at 27. She's good speedy. They're going to drain life. That can't be good. No. They get to... Uh, to heal themselves. To heal themselves. Then they move. Plus one. They attack minus one at range two. All right. And that's every cycle. It is. So it's you. I go first. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move two, and it's a jump. I'm going to jump right over these guys. Okay. So I land here. I also get shield one until the end of my turn. Yeah, so put that up. And now that I'm there, I'm going to use the, the, the shield spikes, and two adjacent enemies will suffer two damage. And there's no attack modifier. They just take two damage each, which would so be enough that was one that... to... I have two different ones. Oh, there's they're one similar? Where you... Yeah, they okay. are similar. I can't remember the name of the other one, but twirly stabs, I think. Um, so... They each take two damage with no attack modifier. So that should be enough to take out number six. Okay. And then number five will take two damage. Alrighty. And then should, the zealot will go. It should try and hit me. It heals one. Just call me. Then it's going to move one. What's their move? Move plus one? So it's going to focus on you. Mm-hmm. And, and we can, can decide if three. it goes here or here. Where would you prefer it? Do you want it adjacent to you or not? I want it adjacent to you, and that's a, my turn's wasted. Because you're not going to be next to it. So that sucks. We're wasting cards. Well, it's moving. Terrible. It's, I can't really I can do anything it. about that. But it's going to move away. So how about, I guess, have it move down this way? Sure. Then it attacks you. Minus one attack. Bad guy deck is up there. So for one. And I have shield one. Yeah. So. Oh, I don't know. All right, we'll do this different. So I loot one. This was not my original plan. And I strengthen you. Okay. And then one ally within range three may make an attack two at range three. So. And I, you're strengthened. I will attack. And be strengthened. So two cards. Oh, well, probably that. It's the best card in your deck. I'll take the plus two. So it's a strength seated five, which should kill it. Five plus this one here is six, and it's eight. All right, we have taken out the front room. Okay. Not the best Time use to of open our cards. Door. Unfortunately, it's the end of the round. This would shuffle. Yes. And I don't think anyone's drawn any. Like I said, I'm just trying not to draw from my deck. I'll soak all the curses. Oh, I didn't curse them. Sorry, at the start of your turn, from a curse. Right. So that actually should have been in here. They. Okay. I need to get within two. Before the start of my turn, that's not going to happen. I'm wasting a curse action here, unfortunately. So, time to open the door. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take a move four. So, I'm looking. Yeah, that's the best move I have. Maybe these guys are going to pop out. Yeah, you get to cheat and see. Yeah, well, it's not cheating. Well, I can't make anyone walk into a trap this time. I can, but not right off the bat. There's no one close enough. This is going to hurt. I should have took the jump boots. Oh, really? They have the same, like, the tr difficult terrain affects yes, them. Equally, yes, it correct? does. So pulling them into the difficult terrain no, would be a bad helps, move. Unless you can pull them into a trap. Yeah. Hmm. What else can I do? 
Though if you can pull him into the difficult train, I can make him walk into the trap. Yeah. Well. If the timing works, I'll make sure to go slow. Interesting. Interesting proposition. Let I me might, know, because that'll switch that, what I'm doing. But I'm not going to be very fast at it, unfortunately. So we'll see what happens. So they may move ahead of time, too. Yeah, I'm slow enough they'll probably go first. No, because they're going to open the door. That's true. They're not on the board yet. That's true. Just don't go too slow that I go first. Well, you might. I'm, I'm pretty damn slow. We'll oh, see. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, whatever. My character doesn't have a lot of zippy cards. You seemed faster than me last time. Alright, I'm ready. Okay. 67. 63. Oh, close. Where are they going? No, oh, there's no one know. on the map. We don't know. We don't know when they're going because we won't know until we open the door. Alright. And so, and thusly, so you go at, at 63. Instead of 63, I will move four with my blinding sickle move action, and I will go one, two, three, four. But you stop on you here. Yes. And you read number one. And I read number one. You burst into the cargo hold, and a foul smell hits you in the face. A river of sticky black liquid flows through the ship, pouring between the various cracks in the hull. The source appears to be beyond the far door, but first you'll have to fight your way past more ruffians and their pets. That's nasty. Okay, we need to spawn a bunch of things. Where are the rest of these to randomize? Let's look. I don't know what you did with them. Over here. So shuffle a little bit. We just need two regulars. I gotta say, only fighting regulars is nice. That's a two-player advantage. So here and here. That's it. And then, and then one normal and one elite viper. That's it. Oh, well, three. So two regular and one elite. I don't have the vipers. I think they're under the mic. Yeah. Elite. Down here. And there. No, that door's not open. What is this? Oh, shoot. Right, sorry. So, no, that's it. Okay. Good. So, so um, now we have the spawn cards. Viper is going at 18. Where'd the Viper thing go? The little card. It's right here. First. And they are going at 27. Which is next. But I get to finish my moves. Yeah. So I will go here. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work. Here in this spot, they would have to walk through. Shit. Uh, oh well. Um, I'm going to do gonna go an attack three, range two. And yeah. pull him one. But that doesn't pull him anywhere. It would pull him towards me. Into the it doesn't pull him anywhere good, but it's it gonna takes two movement him. to go there. No, oh, doesn't work. That's fine. I don't want to pull him, I've just you have to. I think you're pulling one son of you grab that. Move one hex closer to you. I'm not going to unless we need to, because my chair will make terrible noises. Through their allies, but not through enemies, obstacles, objects, or walls. If it's to attack, it goes off the thing. Unaffected by difficult terrain. So yes, you do pull it, sorry. I don't want to pull it's it. It's there. just like an effect that's going to yeah, go off. Yeah, just so what I, I wanted to it. do was to be able to make right? him walk, but you're in the so spot, you'd have to walk through. my flaming sickle will attack him for three plus one is four. That is number four. Number four has taken four wounds. Yeah. 
Okay, you're done. Yep. Did you even draw two cards for that? No, I did it on the other one. The time it wouldn't have worked. Like you made me go off right then, and I used it. You only get it on your next attack, and you strengthen me, and then had me attack. All right. So the vipers, all attacks targeting vipers get disadvantage. So it it's called find cover, but it's coming to attack us. So the elite, right, there is no elite. So whatever the lowest number is. Six. It's got to be, oh, ten. Okay. So, so six time. is going to move three. Try to get to you from right, that right spot. There. No. Yeah. Oh, it's jumping, yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Wouldn't so, it just go one, two, three? No, because the last spot it enters in costs two. Oh, okay. I just thought because he's already in the hindering. Train. No, no. That's why I didn't think. That's all hindering. For entering. Okay. No, no. So one, two, three, two. Three. It could get to the trap and hit you, and I think it will. If that's the only spot it can hit me from. Well, because it, it jumps right? past two, and then it has one movement left. It could go here, but that's not any closer. It could go into the trap. Because if it went here. It's the same thing. It's the same thing, yeah. Okay. I think it might actually jump into the trap. Where's Tamujin? Thought he'd join us tonight. Because monsters generally consider traps obstacles, but oh, it's in... I know. Yeah, other complaint about Gloomhaven draws a line. Three books now. <laughs> like I tried to simplify things by making you go crazy. Tried to simplify it, but now we have three books. It did say they wouldn't normally go into traps unless it was the only way. Where's the monster movement to traps? I read it. Monster trap interaction. All monsters consider traps to be obstacles when determining focus and movement unless movement through a trap is the only way they can focus on a target. In this case, they will find a path to their focus moving through the fewest number of traps as possible. So it shows this monster one will focus on hatchet A for its melee attack because it considers traps to be obstacles. But if it had a range two, it would attack the other way. But that's it. There's like one little monster ranged attacks are here. Is there a better glossary? Because in this case... I don't know if it'd be under traps or monster movement or what. If they simplified things but didn't... Monster turns. We need the Jaws and Lion FAQ. There's no FAQ, it's just a matter of... The monster finds a hex and focuses on one enemy applying the primary list. Hexes with a movement passive will spin the fewest traps possible. Hexes with the shortest movement path, enemy earlier in the thing. So is there... I want examples with traps here. No, because it could reach here to attack you. It's not the only spot it can attack you from. It just can't do it this turn. So I don't think it does. I think it just goes to here. Okay. Because it could attack you from here, or it could attack you from there. Right, and it's not It in just any can't room. reach. Okay. So now this guy... So again, it's going to go one, two, three yep. to attack you. And then attacks at minus one. Plus one. And they are a one. And so it hits you for one. But I will use my shield and not take any. Okay. So we are going to start with move four with a black boon. One, two. Oh man, I could grab the treasure. Three. Why not? Treasure seems useful. And then I am going to use disarm on this viper using lure of the void. Disarm viper number. 10. Can you grab me a design? And then I can move him too with me controlling it. Put him into the trap. So he takes three. Number 10. And that kills him. Excellent. Oh, you are poisoned. Oh, shoot. There it is. I see the poison. And I need gold. That is it for that round. Good 
Prevents healing. Remove from healing. I will take care of that as long as you don't... Mm -hmm. As long as I can get close enough to you. You're probably going to stay basically there, right? Um, yeah. Uh, can I, I could take a short rest at the end of the round, right? Yeah, if you want. Remember, you can long rest now, too. I think I'm going to take a short rest. Did you get your shield back? It's true. Or wait, I could use the stamina potion. Yes, you But could. I would have had to have done it on my turn. Whereas the short rest I can do right now. Oh, she, a stupid thing happened. Oh, fudge. I don't think I want to lose this one. So spend the hope. I will spend the hope to not lose my swift strength. Da, da, da. What are you doing? Regrets. I'm I'm spending the health. Oh. I'm taking my health off. Now I have more cards to pick from. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. I know what I want. I want Okay. Alright, I am at 49. I am at 38. You didn't shuffle that. You're right. The giant vipers are going at 33. They are jumping. Swift fangs. Moving plus one and trying to target two people. What number were you at? You didn't put your cards face up. I'm at 38. So, the zealots, the vipers... Then you, then me. That kind of sucks. Sell it first. All right. The zealot will heal itself because it's draining life. So, heals one. Can move plus one, but it it's doesn't. It's already adjacent to you. But it wants to do a ranged attack. Oh, well, then it will move one. So, whoop. Attack minus one, range two. So plus two, so plus one. A total of three. Which I will take three. So I now have six health. Alright, then the Viper is going to move one. Because it can't move to attack over less. There's no way. And attack at plus zero. So it's plus one. Plus one is two. I'm going to take two more. Yeah, sure, I'm glad my partner knows how to heal. No, I don't have any of that stuff. <laughs> you take way more than that. What? You're poisoned. Because I'm poisoned, so I two took an, a two additional for each attack. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Then it's you. Then it's me. Should heal self. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't right now. Um, so... First, I am going to, with my twirling stabs, I will attack one adjacent enemy. That would be this fellow here. For zero, with the minus two. And then, I will, with my flaming sickle, attack this fellow for three at range two and pull him in one. So, attack three plus zero, oh, I hit him we for suck. three. And pull him there. He didn't get hit by him. He's disarmed. Oh. And he wouldn't have moved. Because he couldn't attack. Okay. But then when I attacked him just... When I attacked him just now, I would have been at disadvantage because I was doing a ranged attack, so I should flip one more card. So. So. The zero stands because it is the lesser of the two. So I gotta figure out how much damage he did to me. The, z the zealot had a minus one attack. I think he just did one plus the 
poison sure damage. Too. Okay. Plus the poison damage. So I would have three more. Four. Or is he only two attack? He's a two attack. Yeah. Okay. I'm still poisoned. Mm -hmm. I have done both of my actions. No, I didn't actually damage him because you started saying how we suck. I didn't actually put the damage on him. I did uh, three damage to him. Which is a total of six and he dies. Alrighty. That doesn't help. I use this as a move two. Then I use this interesting, I, sorry, I, it doesn't matter because I'm using it as a generic. Then I'm using Close to the Abyss. I call in the healing powers. I heal you for two range two. All allies who remove, it's targets two, who remove poison, which is you, gain a bless. Oh. So I don't actually gain any health. The but poison comes off. You gain a bless, and I actually heal two. I thought that was a neat That track. is neat. And then it's the end of the round. Now it's the end of the round. And I have to shuffle my deck because I got a bless. I could short rest. Oh, this. I gained an XP. I'm failing at this whole cursing then. And then this also shuffles. Yeah, I'll short rest. I don't need the two health now. And then... No, I will spend the health. I don't want to lose my healing anti-poison card because... Alright. No reshuffle on the bag of stuff. I either did it. I'm at 43. I'm at 14. Viper is also at 43. So I go before him. This is gone. You are first. Okay. So at 14, I will do a shocking advance. I will attack for three and immobilize. Mm -hmm. I miss, but he's immobilized. I'm blessed. What does... Oh, no, that's just the card that went in there. Wow, we, yeah. we're terrible at this game. Why would we do He's that? He's dead. Three damage killed him. Oh, I Well, that's not him. That's a different guy. I just didn't want to move that when he died. Okay. I'm like... All right, you good? Yeah. So then I'm going to move to with jump and go over here. Okay. And I now have shield until the end of the round. All right. He's immobilized. He can't follow me. It was at least something. All right. I go one, two, two, three, four with Black Boon. And then I turn out the lights, attack three, range three. Nice. Except they'll probably miss because it's my first time ever drawing from my attack deck. You're going to go get the juicy treasure. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. I said I'll probably miss. I figured you got the treasure last time, so I was going to head towards it this time. That's good. I jumped over here so I could get to the door quicker, so. Oh, yeah, I guess that's a wall. Um, then the Viper. Can't move because he's immobilized and he targets all adjacent enemies. It went into a toxic frenzy doing nothing. All right, I have to Toxic frenzying. Back. Yeah, this is so much 
I don't know, the onboarding, everything. It's just so much smoother. Yeah, it is. Okay. Hmm. Man, I don't know what to do at this point. Are you going to hit him? Because no, I could heal I, myself. I have no way to. Uh, well, I can attack him. This is the problem. I can attack him from where I am. The problem is, um, can you get... Walk towards the door. Shit, I don't know. God. <sighs> okay. Are you staying there? I'm going to hit him, and then I'm going to walk towards the door. Oh, shit. See, I'm probably going to waste my second action then. I think I'm going for that gold coin. Yeah. Alright, you know what? I can do this. It doesn't actually help, but I'll do this. And I'll burn this. Alright. Wow, I'm slow though. Alright, I'm going oh, to... Oh, wait a second. If I do that, I'll be incredibly slow. He's definitely going before me. Bridge. Yeah, that's true. If I can go before you, that would work. I can just be a coward and kill myself and stuff. But then he's not dying. <sighs> I would like to go before him, but he's probably going to go first. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go after him. I'm, I'm going to go after everyone. Oh, which means he's probably going to attack me. Eh? All right, go with 89. 87. See, I go after you. He is definitely first. He's even slow. So him, then you, then me. He has moved minus one, and they only moved two, so we can't actually reach you. Wow. Constrict of uselessness. Nice. So I that approve. worked. Then you go. Um, you know what? You can see my cards to... at this point, right? Yeah, no. So I'm, I'm going to give you an attack if you don't move him, away. But I think immobilizing him is even better. Yeah, except if we just leave him there, we can't ever win. <laughs> hmm. Well, he'll come after us. Not if you immobilize him. Oh, well, he just won't come after us this round. All right, Oh, sure. well. All right, fine. I'll disarm him instead. I'll, I'll, I'll stick with what I was originally going to do. So I will do uh, Desert Knight, attack two, target within two hexes and I will hit him for four and I will also disarm oh, him because I did doesn't that. matter big hit dead and then viper I can move up to four but I'm going to choose to only move three because okay. I want that to be my ending target so giving you an attack doesn't help there's nothing to attack I attack the trap yeah so I am going to use None of these matter. So I move to, and I grab number 10. Glossary. I have no idea where that is. Can you get the marker? Because I didn't check off the last one, actually. Number 10 you is... still have the marker. I found the Fateful Compass. Which we can I could give to you if it's better for you. Can you grab the marker? Okay, I only have the crummy one over here. You didn't oh. give me back the good one. You should still have it. What did we get? We got 14 before, right? Yes. Fateful Compass. Item 27. Now, are you allowed to use it right away, or is it like the old game where you didn't get the no, item? No, I didn't so... get the item pattern. I got the item. No, in the past you would get the item. You still didn't get to use it and cut around. I don't know. I don't think I get it, which is silly, because I can't carry two hand items anyway. During your turn, force one enemy within range three to perform a move two with you controlling it. That fits my character well. Nice. So yeah, where's the rules for that looting treasure? I this money at the end of the round. 
I didn't yeah, finish my turn, but head. sure. Treasure tiles are placed on the maps. May acquire treasure charts and loot. Remove the tile. Note the number on the map and refer to the entry in the treasure box. The looting character immediately receives that reward. Treasure tiles left on the map at the end of the scenario or looted by monsters cannot be collected. It says immediately receives that reward. I know in Gloomhaven, no, but yes. I don't see anything that says sounds otherwise. Immediately like you have access to it. It is yours. Go crazy. Items are a neat card held by characters. No limits the number of items can use on your turn. Still perform all your usual actions. Can own any number of items, but at the start of any scenario, you're only allowed to bring. This one is only checked at the start of the scenario, so if you find a new item within the scenario, you're allowed to use it. So that's another change from Gloomhaven. Neat. So there's a significant number of little changes mm -hmm. here and there. Which is, again, probably a frost The fact frost that you can haven. actually use it over your capacity because you just found it Because I just found it. It's kind of neat. Not that it's useful here. That needs to go. Yeah. All right. I get the coin I was standing on. I shuffle my deck. It's the end of the round. Yeah. I'm planning the next one. Are you ready? I'm going to take a long rest. Oh, geez. So we're not opening the door again? Just gonna eat through our well, cards. We're gonna take a minute to get over there, anyways. I'll it's take one, me two minutes. I have one card left at this All point, right. so, and I'd like to untap my shield. And you heal when you take a long rest, yeah, you correct? Heal too. All right, so I am just moving two because, and then I am gonna heal two, so I can't actually reach anything with the move two. So I guess I go there, okay. and then I heal myself one, and I would get Wouldn't a blast. Would you rather be there because you don't want to move into the trap when you go through? I can go right through here. Why would I have to go through the trap? Oh yeah, I guess you could go into there. For That's me, it. it seemed like you needed to come around, but yeah. So when I take a long rest, I heal two. Yes, and you select one card to go into the... My stuff on taps, and I choose one card to get rid of. My signs of the void was useless. And it will be this one. I'm getting rid of my twirly stabs. And then, for the next round, we need to get up there and open that door. You want to jump, right? Or else you're walking in the trap. Because hmm? you went the long way. Oh, there's a wall here. Yes. Oh, I missed that. That's why I'm like, why you went that way, I don't understand. But that's fine, unless you want your jump. Um... Because I was looking at this and thinking it was the square. God damn it. I'll spend the health. Because it's my only move. Where is better than four. God damn it, I lost my heal. Well, that's not terrible. I can do that. I'm like, if you want, I can open the door. I can All use right. a move four. So they'll be right in the door. All right, and the trap will still be there, so I might yeah, as well the trap will still be it. there. Alright, I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to open the door, but nothing very exciting beyond that. Alright, let's see if I can I'm help going you to heal that. because I want to learn XP. Okay, do that. And then I'm just going to move two or can I move four? Are you going to be in the door or past it? I will be in the door. Okay. Alright, I'll do this, I guess. Alrighty. I am at. Where is it? Very slow, 89. 16. So you're first. Because my jump move is zippy. So um, I'm going to jump here. And I'm going to two. shield on. That's my swift strength. All right. The smell gets even worse when you finally open the door to the back cabin. More of these robed madmen are performing some sort of incantation over an altar piled high with severed limbs Oof. and unidentifiable mounds of flesh. With the flies buzzing and the strange guttural howls, all you want to do is get a f as far away as possible, but you have a job to do, so you commence with the killing. Wow. Okay, this all seems a little darker than the other Yeah. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Except Did we a... go to the Warhammer version of Gloomhaven? All right, and then I get to heal four, and I actually earn XP. Mm-hmm. I can't heal over my hit points, so, but yay, XP. All right, the Vipers are going at 18, so that's definitely before me. Doesn't matter to you. And what are the other ones doing? The Zealot. Oh, yes, they exist again. At 77, Still before they are me. doing a vile scourge. All right, so the Viper is next. It is going to move plus one, jumping, and attack minus one. Okay. So it's jumping right to you. Right there? No, that's a wall. Why would it go there? Um, yeah, I'm having trouble with this. Yep, that doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. Yeah. I see it now. Okay, so, so yeah. it'll be right there. Yes. Okay. And attacks at minus one. Okay. I still have my shield up for my swift strength move. Alright, so it's minus two, so it does no damage but poisons you. Okay. Shield doesn't help with the poison. No. So the Viper's done. Then the other guy's going to go. He's going to do move minus one, and he only has two movements. So it moves up one, and that's it. And unfortunately, no one is within two of me, so this card is burned. I gained an XP. Alright. Um, one ally within range three may perform an attack two, range three. Hmm. Oh. First, though, we'll strengthen you. Okay. See, your strengthen doesn't get used up. The strengthen it? goes away at the end of your next turn. Okay. Right? So but you did you do that said, wrong the other day. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. But then you said, no, it goes away after you attack. After your turn. Not you attack. All right. End of my next turn. So yes. it would stay. Okay. That's what I was trying to so, say last time. You took it off, and I'm like, that shouldn't have been taken off. I, I'm strengthened. Yes, I'm going to two. attack. It's a ranged attack. So I'll attack yeah. this guy, because then I won't be at disadvantage. Exactly. Well, uh, I think it's going to be times two. It's definitely going to be this card. So four damage. Four damage to number three. And I loot one, but that doesn't. It's a loot and strengthening card, which is a little weird. And that's it for the round. Mm-hmm. I think I am going to use my stamina potion. Oh, I can use an action on my turn, right? Oh no, you're, you need to get out of the door. I could have walked the snake out into the trap. I use my stamina potion to pick that back up. Because the being able to strengthen you seems nice. Are you moving out of the door? Thank you. Um, yes, I am moving out of the door. We just have to kill everyone, right? Yep. Oh, hell, let's just fucking overkill this then. Oh, I don't know. What's the snake's health? Five? Jeez, so hitting it for two is probably not going to help me. that much. I don't know. I'm probably going to wail on the zealot to finish him off. That's what I was thinking. But if you have other thoughts, do tell. I don't know. You're already strengthened. Okay. All right. Sixty-seven. Fourteen. Viper is at forty-three. And they're at nineteen. So do you. So I get to go first. I am going to use the movement portion of my blinding sickle to go one, two, three, four to here. No, that really didn't. And then that was terrible. I w- you told me to get out of the door, and I did. Yeah, but that's not over. That's across the room, and you know I can give you actions if you stay close. 
Yeah. That was terrible. I'm going to wail on this guy with my shocking advance. I have strength in. <sighs> you didn't show the cards. Well, I got a zero and a minus one. The zero is the better out of the two, so yep. I do three damage to him, plus he's immobilized. With the three he already suffered, he would die. Sorry, the four he already suffered, he dies. Before my turn is done, well, this will go away before my turn is no longer strengthened. I want to use my stamina potion to take a card back. Stamina potion? Didn't you use it already? No, I haven't used it at all this game. I talked so about it, but it. I haven't used it. Okay. I have not used it. Not even once. I said, oh, I would have had to use that during my turn, and I didn't. I can't do it at the end of the round. Instead, mm -hmm. I'll take a short... A short. Uh, Man, I don't even... I guess my cards are just wasted. Zealots are dead. They sure are. So one, two, three to attack me. Or one, two, three to attack you. You went before me, so it's going to go towards you. It's moving plus one, it's jumping. So it just gets right out of the way. Yeah, whichever. You get to pick the spot. And then it attacks at minus one. It missed. Hit a number to shuffle that. It would still poison you, you still but I'm already poisoned. poisoned. Yeah. I need to get within range three of you. I can't. God damn it. Ah, oh, that ruined everything. Oh, I'm now noticing there's a little bucket full of like yeah. limbs and stuff. That's. Guess I just moved two. Useless turn. I moved two. That's it, because none of these are useful okay. anymore. You wasted all my actions. It's the end of the round. Well, I suspect I'll be going after that viper. And I don't mean chasing them down. Wait, hold on. Let me back up. Sorry. I'll back up. I can do this, actually. Hold on. Yep. This works, actually. All right, from there, mm -hmm. I can use Lure of the Void. So I disarm the snake within range three. Yep, he's three away. I don't know that what snake numbers. has no arms. And then I can force him to move two with me controlling the action. Nice. Okay, I'm not done. I always could have done that. Then I use the fateful compass mm -hmm. to move two, anything within range one, into the trap. Excellent. Then I move two. Oh, sorry, I was here. Mm -hmm. I move two. I don't think I want to get next to him. Mo, if you were there, then you were four away from him, not three. Oh, so I would have had to move to you first. You had to move yeah, to yeah. first there to be able go. to get close enough there to him. There. It's not great. But... It's pretty good. Of course, now I, gotta, gonna go I really me. do have to chase after him. Well, yeah. Now what am I going to do? Hmm. Do, 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 do. No jumping. It's disarmed, so though, so... Be... Just stay back here and loot, and you can kill him. Do the uh, gold ones have more hit points? Yep. Or else it'd be dead. Mm. Okay, this goes with this zealot. They 
Honestly, I'm just gonna sit back and not do anything. It's fine. Alright. They were 43. 32. I'm at 32. 18. So, Viper. What are you at? I am at 32. So, the Viper is going to attack me at minus one. I am going to use my studded leather. It attacks at disadvantage and I have shield one. It's also disarmed. Oh, fuck. Never mind. <laughs> and it looks like it needed to be shuffled. Yeah. Alright, nothing happens. That's why I figured it wasn't so bad for me to just sit back. Yeah, I was going to happy to get to use my armor. I'm going to loot. Loot one and pick up both of these. Yeah. With my flaming sickles loot action. And then I will fl use... Foil the chain thing around to pick up stuff. Right. And then I will use healing sands to heal myself and get this poison off of me. And also gain one more, more XP. Alrighty. So I am going to move forward with Black Spoon. Black Spoon. One, two, three, four. And then I will attack it with Turn Out the Lights. Attack three, range three. Nice. Hopefully just finish this. Finish it off. Do three. Three plus three is six. At five health. Excellent. Done. The end. Still not hard. The like I used my burning cards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I still. Still not hard. I would add to do a short rest at the end of this round, but I still have things to I do. I didn't take a single long rest. All right, where is that book? Oh, it's up here. Yep. We left a lot of treasure behind, though. Picked up some. It certainly doesn't give you pleasure sifting through the human remains on the altar. Looks like a bucket then on an altar. It does. But it does end up proving useful in between bouts of vomiting. No. You find a necklace, one Sandy described in detail as never leaving the neck of her husband. I guess Sandy must be the blacksmith's wife. That's, they did so, say her yeah. name, yeah. All right. With this in hand, you can bring at least some peace to the blacksmith's widow and inform the city guard about this whole situation. Still, you have the sneaking suspicion this isn't the end of the trail. These robed men were certainly all underlings, which means Roland is still out there. One could make the argument that this is the city guard's job, but you search the cabin of the ship anyway and find a curious map. It's a crude depiction of the boiler district, and one building is clearly marked. Surely it couldn't help to check it out. Each character gains one perk, see the next section of the Learn to Play book, and a new location, a ritual in stone, C2. So now we go back to the Learn to Play book. Scenario 3 complete. Congratulations on community scenario 3. Make sure you play through the end of the round and read the conclusion text and rewards. As always, mark the scenario complete on the map. Then place the new one for scenario 4. Which I already forgot where it was. You closed down. It's up there. Nope, okay. can't read it. So, so far no C2. branching paths, but... It is still. We're still learning. We're so still learning. It's not that weird, I guess. Fully refresh your characters, recover all cards, removing all condition tokens, move all blessing curse cards from each attack modifier deck. There's the important one. Oh, yeah, good reminder, Dan. I think I used the only curse I got, or did I get two curses? You got two. No, I got two. So there we go. That is removed. This one's really hard. Oh, good enough. Return to your maximum hit point value. Return the money collected at two gold each. Yay, I got two. <laughs> I have three. So Where did my pencil go? Six. I'm up to nine. That was terrible. All right, and then we have something new. Each character should now note their experience total tracked during the scenario. From now on, you'll also gain experience for completing a scenario. Completing this and all of the scenarios in this book gets six experience points. So I have eight XP. Six XP plus the stuff we earned, right? I earned two. I also have eight XP. The total of your experience points should be recorded. It takes 45 to hit level two. So there's still a ways to go, but progress has been made. 
Then we get to perks. Each scenario also received a perk as a reward, which is a powerful enhancement to your modifier deck. Find the one you want to take and put a check marks and put it in. This can be some combination of removing bad cards, getting new ones, changes permanent. How can you decide what to take? It basically goes on. Alright, so I am going to look through my perks. What do we have here for perks? Adding curses? Curses are good. No, I don't have curses. Mm -hmm. So this also has us open up this little halt deck. So we have a little deck here that said halt. We're going to need to open that up to get the rest of these. These cards are for your attack modifier deck. I'm going to replace one minus one card with a plus one card. Is that the dark symbol? See, we haven't even gotten to that yet. Yeah, there's like fire and light and stuff on mine too. And you're right, we haven't. You add one, one plus one heal an ally. I have one with shields. Oh wow, it's plus one damage and heal an ally. Plus one and poison. I think plus one and curse. Because it's a plus one and it's a curse. Nice. I'm going to go with that. Plus one curse. Do you normally get a perk at level one? Not normally, right? I don't remember. Honestly. But they're, I think they're assuming at this point we would have completed battle goals. Yeah, right? Like that's what they're representing here. So that gets put into my deck. Grimdar is getting stronger. All right. Now, there's more. There's, oh, more. there's more. Starting now, each time you successfully complete a scenario, you must encounter a city event. Ooh. Before doing this for the Exciting. first time, retrieve the events deck from the game box. I didn't know there was shuffle city the events. Card. That's exciting. Wow, see, these cards are the cards. so slippery. Excitement. So I know in our normal streams, we save this for the start of the next stream, but let's in do it in the proper. I think we should do it in the proper order. Alright, that is small text. Holy cow. That is tiny. Test your strength. Are you stronger than an inox? A man barks challenges to passerby on the street next to a strength testing machine. A mallet sits at the ready for anyone brave enough to whack the base of the device and try to ring the bell. Fantastic prizes for the strongest. Crushing defeat for the weakest. Just five gold per whack. I don't have any gold, so... I do. Take a swing, or doesn't this orchid know who you are? The jaws of the lion don't need to prove themselves to anyone. These games are only for kids anyway. Uh, no, You're I gonna take a whack. Take a whack. Each character performs an attack three action, drawing one attack modifier card, and individually reads the outcome. Each character, well, I don't have five gold. Like, that doesn't make sense. I don't know, maybe for five gold we all get a whack at it. No, like, like yeah. what happens if you don't have the gold to lose? <sighs> okay, I wasn't expecting to need my attack modifier deck. Right, no, was I. I trust you. So what'd you get total? Well, you said... Three or less, good. lose five gold. Bum, 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 bum. Plus zero! Woo! Lose five gold. I don't have, you five, don't have gold. five gold. so you shouldn't have got to do it. That's dumb. It is right? goofy. Each yeah. character... Does each character have to decide whether A or B? In the past, it was always a party No, it's decision. a party thing. Each character must make an attack three. We couldn't do it because we didn't all have enough money? It didn't say you had to have the gold ahead of time, so I guess I'm just at zero gold. I cheated them. You cheated them. That was silly. That is good. Uh, interestingly, it doesn't show to discard or tear up the cards, so this is actually less legacy hmm. than Gloomhaven. It just says to put it in the completed events slot. Maybe it comes back. Maybe at some point I have a feeling they don't, but they don't want you to. I think they decided to make it so you don't rip anything up. Had we gotten really well, you would have got like blesses and more gold. Oh well. All right. Once this is done, place the encounter event side of the divider, then place them in the back. All right. Characters should now retrieve the remainder of their level one cards from their character box. Ooh. 
and add them to your other two level one cards. Remove all A and B cards permanently. Nope. They will never be used again. The rest are your full set of level one cards, which you should have access to for the rest of the campaign. So that's a big change. I haven't used them these much. Wow, this is a huge change. My cards just, like, got... I figured they were probably the same abilities no. with new names. No, oh, crazy. Crazy much more. But does it have the same names as your uh, previous cards? Nope. Flame Shroud? No, like, I still have Turn Off the Lights. I would remember if I had one called Flame Shroud. Wicked Flame Scratch. Shroud. They're all the same, same thing. Free the Foe, Black Boon, Gift of the Wild. These are all the cards I already had. Well, maybe there's some new ones, but... Not your X cards, though. So that's interesting. Right. I guess the X's are just if you started playing. So take your your one cards from the box. Remove all your A and B cards permanently. They'll never be used again. The rest are your full set of level ones cards. You have access to the rest. Each character now has a different number of cards in their pool of available cards, depending on their hand limit, depending on the top of the cards. So you can either save your characters for another session, move on to scenario four, find a longer scenario with new enemies and a new goal. That will be another night. Yeah. So, huh. uh, no, because there's more new ones going in. Yeah, there's more new, out. but there, so there is are... a replacement for all of yes. my existing. So there are new ones. So there's a replacement for all your existing damage. plus I some new ones. Recognize that. But not your X's. You don't get the X's, which I thought is interesting. That is interesting. Because you always had the option, and maybe that's just if you make one of these characters in Gloomhaven. Well, maybe you'll get to that later. Next, we unlock the X's and actually get to change what. It's also your interesting. Next that this this is a reason you don't want to play them in full Gloomhaven. Well, you only go up to four. Oh, there's a cult do not open. Uh-huh. <laughs> Never mind. I'm like, wait a minute. It actually says don't open this until you're level 5 right on it. Yeah, so. so. I just put my A's and B's in here. Yeah, so the character's going to change up. But yes, again, yeah. why not keep up with the blue text? Like, why not? Why not fit because it on there? Because you don't have enough space. Maybe you could have fit it on somehow. There's room on that one. There's room on that one. Actually... A lot of my cards are taking up all the available space. All right, fair, sure, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's it. So next is move on to scenario four rules. So we are going to save that for another night. There is a new setup because we're going to start using the full monster ability text. Um, there's something about spawning monsters now. There's an we're going to start using the element boards and we're going to oh, have battle goals. We're going into full on gloom. Pretty pretty close pretty to full close. on gloom haven at this point. So we made a huge mess out of here. Yep. Uh, I think we're going to wrap things up though. Yeah, they don't need to watch us clean up. You don't need to watch us clean up. And I don't think we hit the bell last time before we did the close up. So There you go. That is the end of scenario 3 of Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, the new introduction to the Gloomhaven experience. Um that was the black ship, a much more interesting, I think, scenario than the last couple. Definitely a little more difficult, though I would not call anything we've faced today hard. Uh, we've now played for the first three sessions of Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. What do you think of it so far? I'm digging it. Um, it plays well with two. Yeah? Yeah. You know, I've it's been quick. having a, It's quick. Uh, we played three all in one night. Yeah, three um, scenarios in one night. That's all. That's good. In less than three hours. Right. But no, I mean, these are the are intro. going to get longer and more complex, yeah, right? These were so, the intro scenarios. So there's that. Quite a few rule changes. A surprising number of little tiny things that have changed. Like we can share items. Mm -hmm. The fact that if you pick up an item during a but scenario, you, you can use it. Right away. That's use a it huge right away. Change. Those are two really big ones. Improved line of sight rules and better monster focus. I don't know, but better changed monster focus rules. Somewhat simpler. Somewhat, yeah, I think simpler. simpler monster focus rules what i'm wondering like i know some people are doing this is if you want to take any of these rules and port them to blue maven mm. i would love the ability to trade items like that one in particular yeah, because yeah. we get stuff all the you'll you'll loot but a tr chest and get that, like a magic to me, sword it feels like cheating if to we were start to now. if we were to bring over rules like changing the monster AI and stuff because it was well, balanced for the rules as they were i don't know there's enough people that are changing the AI, especially the line of sight rules so you don't get the silly stuff with the walls mm -hmm. where you're like i happen to be touching a wall so i can't actually see anything but even here. stuff like being able to use items right away see i like that they, but... it is it's cool it makes more sense but the game was it, it's just like that it's been like that since oh, you first yeah, took it I've out a yeah scratch on my board it's not a scratch. It's like when they put the sticker down, there was a, a bubble there. Bubble there. Um, I feel like by doing that, it was balanced in that you're going to get this item and you can't 
use it. And it seems silly before that you're going to get this thing that can kill zombies and you're in a room with zombies, but you can't use it right now. It's See, only it's, when you die and come But back. I don't even know if it was a balance thing. It was like the thing, if you happen to fail, you could try again. Now you have the thing. Yeah. But then I never used that item again because I never knew I had it. But we we're also playing with more closed information than we should. It's true. Uh, we should be looking ahead to see what the scenario has in it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. The new monsters so far, we haven't seen any, have we? I think, well, the zealots are new. They were interesting. I would would be curious to know what the designer's feeling is on importing these rules into the Well, from what I understand, almost all of these are going to Frosthaven. So, like, this is... So this is This is the new new and improved set of rules for Gloomhaven. So, like I said, that'll be something we'll discuss with Tori and Kat. So that is one thing. We do try to stream these games every Friday nights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Due to the pandemic, that may not happen every week. So watch uh, your social media, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Um, Another thing is if you do appreciate this and think this would be much more entertaining, if you could see us while we're playing, we are trying to upgrade our equipment to a second camera. And the best way to do that and to get us that camera would be go to patreon.com slash tabletop bellhop. We're hoping to get that coming sometime soon. Uh, other than that, you can find our content at tabletopbellhop.com. And for those of you here live, we are probably going to stream this again tomorrow on Saturday as a special thing. We're just trying to get through the in- intro five scenarios uh, before I write up a ri- full written review of this. What I think I'd like to do is play a six scenario. So we're playing one with the full rules, but we'll, we'll see. see how many we get we'll see how much we can fit in. Um, the review should go live on Wednesday. Well, we'll be talking about it on Wednesday. If nothing else, we'll be talking about the game. If anyone is considering picking this up right now, i got to say... This is a much better introduction to this style of game. This The onboarding here is fantastic compared to the original. We have played over 40 games of Gloomhaven and still mess up rules. Because it's just the, the monster focus rules, the monsters with trap rules. Um, and the first time you play Gloomhaven, that first battle where you are given this many cards, and you are told, pick six to use, or whatever, or eight to use, and you haven't played the game before, and you don't realize that these cards with a burn symbol on them mean you're basically burning your health, mm-hmm. and you end up burning a card, and burning a card, and burning a card, yeah, and then all you got left is this, so you get two it's more actions. It's a resource management game. Yeah, it's very much a hand management game, and this is doing a nice job of slowly teaching you that. Mm-hmm. We're starting you off with a basic deck of six cards, and then giving you that same deck with two cards upgraded, and then it upgraded to a deck of eight cards, which is what we just played mm-hmm. through now. And only now into the fourth game am I actually going to have to do any deck building before playing, which mm-hmm. is a nice touch. That's that's an improvement, in my opinion. Um, You know, to buy Gloomhaven, it's a big buy-in, because like on sale, it's like 100 bucks, right? Yeah. And this, the it's retail 50? on it is 50 Yeah, so half... It for less than one yeah. third the price, I think, because it's one thirty or so for the full. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So almost. So I mean, at that point, it's a no brainer. Just go buy it. It's yeah. Fun. Just go buy it. And it's going to give you that experience. The other thing too is this will let you know if you're going to be interested in playing the full thing. Right. Now, what I haven't seen at this point is no branching path, but it's it's the intro. Um, the other thing too is there's no way to play with two different parties. So that was something you do in the original Gloomhaven. Is I could sit here and just leave this, and then a different group of friends could come over tomorrow. We can make a new party and start playing in the same world. That is not an option here. Mm. So it is definitely more limited. Though everything is, um, we're not destroying anything. Yes, you could restart. put stickers on the map, but really, you could just be marking on a piece of paper, okay, we've done number one and two, Mm -hmm. and now we're going to, you know. So someone could play through this game. So far, someone could play through this game after we've played through it. Yeah, there so doesn't there seem that. to be any destruction of components, which right? was, was a optional part of the original Gloomhaven. The one that you took far too much oh, time. Oh, yeah, I, I, that's what it makes the legacy games great, is yeah. they have permanent Some effects. things to care Well, this has got not lots of nice sealed boxes. Yeah, well, th- four sealed they're boxes. Interesting and chunky. Yeah, the chunky. Ooh. There's a miniature in there. Maybe, maybe we are going to... Maybe Maybe, yeah, maybe. That'd be cool. That there are minis right? for the bad guys. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Main bad guy is what I was thinking. But maybe it's another character, but then there's no more There's no more character boxes, so I don't know. Yeah, that's the other thing. There's no character retirement in this. Um, We're probably going to see battle goals in the next. That'll be the next thing that introduces. So anyway, so far, big thumbs up. Uh, Three scenarios in one night is pretty good. I'm tired at this point, though. Uh, So we're going to call it a night. Thank you very much for watching, joining us. Make sure you hit the subscribe, ding the bell, like, thumbs up, all that good stuff so that more people can see this video. Uh, for Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. And I'm Deanna. Good night and game, game on. on.